Hello friends, I want to share my experience with Plant Snap application. In case you are thinking about buying it, you may want to hear my story. My nightmare started when I decided to pay and download this app. I did it with great enthusiasm and then... So, I did watch their video, I followed their directions and I started taking pics of plants and flowers. Don't you think it is a great photo, this one? Clear, neat. But then I get this kind of results. Wrong. Those leaves are not from the same plant, don't you think? Here, another very good photo. You can see the flower, very clear. You can even see the leaves, but this is uh, their answer this is the result that came out different color different shape of flower another plant this is one of my photos to get identified by the application again very clear photo that's what i think at least but then i got a very weird result well, it looks a little bit similar, but it's definitely not the same plant. It is not. Multiple leaves, as they ask you. And this one really make, made me laugh. You know, you can read my comment. I send an email because, I mean, what an answer. Check this out. Kitchen Sage. I'm sharing with you some of my photos. Maybe you can judge and help me uh, to, to, to clear my mind because they keep on telling me that my photos are not good. So this is one that I sent. And this is what you get uh, with uh, their application. A different plant. I even mentioned that the leaves are different. You can write my comments on, on the photo I sent to the support the email address that they give you as uh, they really they are different plants just one more example this is one of my photos to prove you how inaccurate is this application well anybody can see it is not again the same flower it's not the same plant don't you think so once you contact them this is the kind of answers that they give you you can read it you know, they're even a bit uh, sarcastic, you know, like they tell you, why don't you follow our directions? There are rules in life and there are rules with plant snaps and you have to follow the rules and things like that, that are not very respectful in my opinion. So, of course, I start to get a little bit upset, so I send them this kind of emails, you know. I am following the directions, I am sending you good photos, and you keep on giving me wrong results. Please give me my money back, I want my refund. And here is the reality. They don't give you a refund. They blame it on you. Uh, they call it user errors and because you are not using the application in a correct way they will never give you the, the, the refund no matter how many times you try how many times you write to them they insist we will not give you your money back i am a bit stubborn so it's not about these four dollars it is about being respected so i try to contact them through the Messenger, so through the Facebook page, I send this message. So once they answer me, I was even chatting live in real time with them, and that's the way they treated me. First of all, they they accused me of insulting them repeatedly. Can you read that on that uh, photo? So I think it's the same person or this small team that is giving you answers on, or through the emails or through Messenger. It's pretty much the same kind of treatment. Here you can see I prove them it's not the same plant and they insist. They're always right. These people are always right. 
and to prove and to prove that they are right, they they make you look a little bit silly. Like they ask you things like, "Have you heard of variation within the species?" These kind of things. Now it comes a moment that starts to be a little bit scary. Is this when the guy is telling me that they're gonna publish the entire conversation mm, on their website. Even with a good sense of humor, they are saving this entire conversation. I am about to be famous on plantsnap.com. So, and here comes uh, a little bit aggressive. In this point, at this point, I was I was angry because he treated me very bad. The whole world, I mean, people will see how crazy I am. I mean, you don't call crazy to one of your unhappy clients. I mean, try to solve the situation, but don't insult your clients. Rule number one in any business. In this photo, you can see that I try many things to get my money back, even to play stupid. I was begging them, please give me a refund. And I play a little bit sarcastic, you know, I'm mentally retarded, I don't know nothing, uh, I don't know how to take a photo, uh, please give me, have some compassion, give me my money. Uh, <coughs> sorry. And then um, this message, it was thrown back to me during that conversation on Messenger, that chatting we had. It looked like the guy didn't want to continue having an interaction with me, and he threw this on my face. Like, uh, you would say you promise you will uh, stop bothering us, something like that. And I made it very, very clear for him that I did promise not to bother you anymore if you would give me the money, but you didn't. So then the guy is like, my mom taught me to keep my promises. And here you can read. He promised me, he or her, I don't know, that he will not give me a refund. It's written here. We promise that we will not give you a refund. I will keep that promise. So I send them this letter through the email. Uh, that um, since the application doesn't work, I'm going to put their team to work and I will send directly my photos to the email. So I just, I'm interested in just getting the plants identified. I send them another email to ex explaining that uh, after that conversation I had on Messenger with this person, they blocked me. They blocked me from the Facebook page. I couldn't send more photos through private message. I couldn't comment on any photo that they had on their Facebook page. So I did send that letter to them to, to get some explanations why they did this to me. And this is how they closed the issue, I guess. For them it's closed, for me it's not. That's why I'm making this video. Hello, Anna. We don't have time to spend with you on every photo you take. We trained you and now you are on your own. Best of luck, stuff. This is one of my photos. This is a stevia plant, you know, the sweetener, the natural sweetener. I have it in my garden. I knew it, but I just wanted to check again if the application is giving me sometimes results because it's, it's been like uh, one good result uh, out of 10 tries. And then, no, I was unlucky again. I am getting this. Now you can judge with your own eyes if my photos were good or not because this is what's going to happen when you start getting errors that they're always going to tell you that your photos are not good enough. So, open your eyes, you know, check it out a little bit, uh, hear different opinions from people because this application is a ripoff. So I decided to help some people that maybe believe in me or trust me, trust my words, 
and then uh, I'm gonna share it on YouTube, I'm gonna share it on my Facebook, I'm gonna invite my friends to share it, to, to try to help people not to fall into that uh, black hole and into that uh, uh, unpleasant experience. Another proof, this is what they gave me for the photo before, the, you just watch. So it's error after error, error after error. There's no way that these people can have the courage to sell an application that is not yet uh, working properly. It is, uh, they need to collect many more photos, they need to do something, they need to offer a free version, so you try it and before you buy it. And then once they're getting ready, maybe they can sell it and people will be happy. But so far, right now, this, this is not a good team. They don't treat customers with education. They, are, they give you very impolite answers. They make you feel bad. They, so that's what I can do to, to prevent other people. So enjoy your life. Love, peace and love for everyone.